My name is Cam Spinks and I'm from Montevallo, Alabama. Uh, yeah, it was kind of out of the blue. I just got an email one day with a couple of old videos that I had posted years ago of me singing and playing and um, they said they were interested in, in hearing more and, and wanted me to come and try out. And so they kind of probed my interest level and we had a few exchanges back and forth and next thing you know, I was driving over to Atlanta to, uh, to audition. I can't, you know, my goal once it, once I, you know, you know, made it through executive callbacks, my goal was, you know, let's just get on a team. Let's make a team. And here we are. I'm, I've made a team. So uh, goal number one has, has been accomplished. Yeah. So, you know, obviously left my, my job, my family, my friends, um, everything back home to, to come and do this, you know. Is actually is a little bit of a pay cut to come out here, so you know there's a lot of uh, stuff that's been put on hold uh, for me to do this, as far as just my life in general, um, and so uh, it's quite the sacrifice. But I would have to say, to this point, um, it's definitely been well worth it. Well, I'd made my mind up going in that if Blake turned, I was going to choose Blake. I, just as far as uh, you know, we we align. Uh, a little better than all the other coaches, uh, he and I. And so that was going to be my number one choice. Um, and so as soon as he did, it was kind of a, a no-brainer. I was going to go with Blake. Oh, boy. That's quite a laundry list. But I would have to say that this current day and time, my number one musical influence would be Jason Isbell, uh, a fellow Alabamian, actually. So something interesting about me is my family and I, uh, we raise white-tailed deer. Uh, some people farm cattle and some people farm horses and we farm deer. My name is Kaylee Abel and I am from Verdigris, Oklahoma. My dad encouraged me to audition for The Voice. Um, I've been leading worship. My dad's a pastor, so I had that free shot to get up on stage ever since I was like a baby. <laughs> so uh, he really encouraged me to just try something different and here we are. <laughs> I submitted a video and what's funny is I got online and I had almost missed like the date for it to submit the video in. And um, I checked online and I thought it would just be a singing video. And so when I went and checked, it said you had to submit a singing video and then like a bio about yourself. And I was like, I don't have, I don't have time. I'm gonna miss the thing. So I just submitted a singing video. And I'm like, there's no way they're gonna call me because I didn't even submit my bio. Like I didn't submit anything about me. And for some reason they called me. <laughs> and so they still called me and I was able to come in and do my next audition in, I think in Little Rock, so. This is, this is out of this world, crazy. It's just a dream come true to be here and to be in the middle of something that's so much bigger than anything that I'm used to. And so every minute of it is a dream come true. Blinds was crazy. I was on the last day of auditions. And so when I went in that day, um, it, they kept me rushing from one thing to the other the whole day. So I noticed that there was a lot of a lot of times that a lot of people would just be waiting and they kept running me to different interviews. And so I was thinking, okay, this looks good. Like they're telling me, like they're getting all my stuff done really early. And so when I, I finished and uh, I, I still didn't even know where I was heading and they walked me over into the building that, that the big stage was. And so I'm standing there. And I'm like turning around to anybody like, am I singing now? Am I singing now? Hey, am I singing? What is happening? And they were like, I'm like we're not going to tell yet because they were waiting because they didn't just in case the list changed or whatever. And so I'm literally waiting back there. And then I overhear a producer and they said, there's only four spots left. And I'm like, oh, please. I'm like, please, God, let me sing. I just want a chance to get up there and sing. And so um, I turn around and I turned around to one of the ladies and I was like, am I singing? now or not, like what is happening? And she was like, you're gonna get to sing. Blake is a goofball. Like number one, he just jokes around all the time. So we get in and just being around him, he makes everybody feel really comfortable just from that 
just from the get-go. He's really easy to talk to, super down to earth, and like we're both from Oklahoma, so our personalities are similar in a lot of ways just because like we communicate the same way. And so he makes me feel really comfortable in that space when I like am in the space that normally would be like intimidating or scary. Winning, winning the voice, I, my head explodes just thinking about something like that. I, it would be the biggest opportunity of my entire life, obviously, up until this point, and it would, it would set a foundation for a career for the rest of my life. Just the, my dream is obviously to have a full-time career in music. My name is Kevin Ferris, and I'm from Arlington Heights, Illinois. I wanted to audition for The Voice because I'm a singer-songwriter and I saw it as a, uh, a really good platform to kind of get my music out to other people and what I'm doing musically. Um, I was contacted in August on Instagram and I thought it was someone like joking around so I didn't really pay attention and they emailed me and then I went to like a private audition so that's how it all started. Um, back home in Arlington Heights I've got an older brother who's the drummer for my band, um, my wife, obviously, my animals, my family. Um, so I have a bunch of people rooting for me. And I'm a full-time singer-songwriter, but I also have a preschool music enrichment program that I created. So that's kind of the day job, but. So my singing journey began in, I would say probably the seventh grade is when I kind of figured out I could kind of sing. sing. Um, my dad was a singer-songwriter when I was growing up, and we always had music playing in the house, and so I started playing guitar, and then I started singing to myself, and I realized I could kind of carry a tune, and then I just progressed from there. Um, I didn't study in college. I've been self-taught. I did some, like, independent studies of music, but so I've had training, formal training and just informal training on my own. Yeah, so during the blinds, uh, John Legend and Nick turned around which was awesome. I mean, that was like show-stopping, in my head at least. Um, and I chose Nick because he came up on stage and he played a song with me, so that I kind of had to go that route. Yeah. I had a few people in mind before I went up and did my blind audition, but it was a no-brainer once Nick joined me on stage. I just kind of felt like I have to go that route. Plus, I love the Jonas Brothers, so that's a big uh, plus. Um, well, I was, I was saying this with some of the other contestants, Nick brings showmanship to what he does. Um, everything that he does musically, he has a really great performance aspect to what he does. And so you could see that in the reality shoots that we were doing. He was really trying to bring the energy into the song as opposed to just hearing the music. Because you're selling the whole experience to the fan, too. So it was really evident when he showed us that part of his, his creative side. Wow, so some of, the some of my artists, my favorite artists are Johnny Swim, Alan Stone, Jason Mraz. Um, I love Paul Simon, I like the Jonas Brothers. So I like a whole mix of different kind of music. You know, it's like pop music, old classical music and stuff. So, so it's all across the board. Gosh, if I won The Voice, that would be uh, just an eye-opening, bizarre ride, you know, just a unique experience. It'd mean, it would mean a lot. It just another stepping stone into the next phase of my career. Where is the bus? Oh, yeah. Where is the bus? You said we used to be the same. Oh, where is the bus? <laughs>